The Japanese didn't like it either. The Japanese were so mad <laughs> that they got the real Godzilla to come back and start whooping his ass. <laughs> <laughs> Find us on the social media, Facebook and Instagram at McBlam Entertainment. Follow us on Twitter at McBlam ENT. On the social medias, where can they find you, Akeem? You can find me on Twitter at CryKeem92, K for Cry, K for Keem, two E's, nine two. You can also find me on Instagram at S-U-G-G-S-H-1. Yes, where can they find you, Mr. Mojo Jojo? Exactly where you put it. Mojo Jojo, one, two, three, four, and that's Mojo Jojo with Two O's on the end. One, two, three, four. Or you can find them right here on McClam Entertainment. And as we do these podcasts and everything, you can always support us by being a loyal viewer and being the loyal, awesome viewer that you are. But if you want to show just a little bit more support, you can always become a patron and support us for $1 a month. Just $1 a month. And the more you guys support us, the more content that we can bring. And to the awesome viewer, that is you. But yeah, but we're going to go ahead and jump into some trailers now. The first trailer we're going to get into is Godzilla, King of the Monsters. So we're going to go ahead and watch the trailer, and we'll be back with our review. All right. You all right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You having a moment here? Star, yeah. Starstruck, because it's just another, you know, as a kid, growing up watching, like, the 50s and 60s versions, and, you know, yeah, not the best of quality, but, you know, big fan, big fan, and to see a lot, you know, a live action, better animated, better, like, special effects, and it's just like, man, you can't help but cry if you're a true Godzilla <laughs> fan. Yeah, they. I mean, you gotta admit the effects are definitely a lot better. But I, I guess one thing I do like is that they still keep that that similar look. Yeah, you know, like because yes. um, I, I don't know about you. You said you were a Godzilla fan, fan growing up or whatever. Um, I was unfortunately like I was at the time I was watching it. I was like I was really really young, so I, I didn't really. I don't remember a lot. I remember certain monsters. I remember Rodan. I remember Mothra. I remember Gadira and everything. I remember them, but it's like, I don't remember what happened. I remember them fighting, but I don't remember well, what that, happened. That, that's, the all movie. That that's all that matters. That's all that matters. You just knew that Japan got messed up every time. Yep. <laughs> you always wondered, where do they get the money to fix all of this? <laughs> and then it turns around and Godzilla and whoever he's fighting destroys it again. And, uh, yeah, and everything goes down in Japan. It's just like, you know, we always complain like, about the Golden Gate Bridge being destroyed mm-hmm. in movies and stuff like that. And Jap- all of Japan gets destroyed right. every single time. And then, and you know, and it's just like at the start of movies, they're always happy again. Like, if if I was living over there, I'd be like, okay, what's gonna happen today? Like, <laughs> it's like, is that big bad wolf gonna blow my house down again? You just like you get ready for work and everything, get your briefcase, walk outside, and half the city's gone. I'm like. Nope, oh, not today. Not oh, today. This is a day off. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> and then you're getting a call from your boss. Uh, can you still come in today? Uh, I mean, granted, half the office isn't here, but uh, I still need you at uh, 9 a.m. <laughs> so we've had attempts at this before. You know, we've had the, the 1981, which was actually a remake, I think, using, like, footage from Japan or whatever. We've had, like, that 1980 version with Raymond Burr with the eye patch and everything. Uh, we've had that version. And then we have the version that... Not so many. If you were, it seemed like if you were a really big fan of Godzilla, <laughs> everybody hated it. And that was that 1995 Godzilla with starring Matthew Broderick and mm-hmm. the cast of The Simpsons. So, <laughs> <laughs> um, now I didn't ever ask you about this. I never asked either of you about this. How did you feel? Hakeem, how did you feel about the 95 version? Well, I have to admit that is a guilty pleasure. I have that on DVD. So. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> um, I can't even lie. I uh, I definitely watched the cartoon that was made mm-hmm. after that. So uh, I mean, it was Godzilla. I was a kid. I was like Godzilla. Yep, I'm watching it. Yeah, but now as I'm older, uh, yeah, it would definitely get swept <laughs> under the rug. I'm let's just pretend it never happened. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm I, I gotta I, I gotta be on the side of Akeem here, man. Uh, I have always been. 
a big fan of the 95 Godzilla movie. And all those people are always like, how can you like this dumbass movie? And I'm like, <laughs> Because it's dumb. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it really is. It's just literally dumb fun. But I, I always got it. I'm like, I understand why people hate this, and I understand like why people would hate it. I'm mean, like, this is, you really kind of crapped on, the, you know, Godzilla's, you know, legacy and everything with this. And I, I get it. I understand. But I'm always kind of like, this is fun. I, this is just it's something idiotic for me to, to to watch, and it's got the cast of The Simpsons. I mean, I saw this as a like a kid, and I'm like, it's got the cast of The Simpsons. I recognize these voices. This is only going to be so good. Yeah. So, <laughs> so I kind of expected it to be kind of bad, and it and it was. So, the Japanese didn't like it either. The Japanese were so mad. <laughs> That they got the real Godzilla to come back and start whooping his ass. Because <laughs> 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 they came back and they were just like, oh, oh, really? Let, let, let me show you how to do real Godzilla. And it's a quick fight. It's like, if you watch this video on YouTube, it's like 20 seconds. And Godzilla just beats the shit out of him. Just throws him across it. It's like, get your ass about here. <laughs> He, like, he takes them out in like a few seconds and it's like, okay, fight's done. And I'm like, damn. <laughs> and they got this dude going crazy for some damn reason. <laughs> he probably just won the bet or something. <laughs> now, how did you guys feel about the 2014 version of Godzilla? Because a lot of people were split on this. So what did you think, Hakeem? I really enjoyed it, actually. Because, like I said, with the, the 1995 one, it was a guilty pleasure, but I always, you know, I wanted to see, you know, that you know that that uh, the the uh, can't even think of it right now, but the, the when the Godzilla you know throw the flames out his mouth like mm-hmm. I, I, I wanted to see that, but it wasn't done in the nineteen ninety five movie. Yeah. They, they try to they try to put it in there, but it was lame. Mm-hmm. But in the two thousand fourteen one, it was it was getting <laughs> close to the end where it was like oh they're not gonna do it, mm-hmm. but. They came through. He came through. And I was so hyped. I was like, yeah, like, that's what I wanted to see. And, and just how they did it, where he just like rips the dude's mouth open and was like, all right, here's yeah. heartburn and diarrhea all at once. It, it, it was amazing. So, uh, so you so you did enjoy, enjoy oh, the Oh, dude, I, I, I did. Uh, when I, I saw Godzilla, I was like, please, please keep going. Uh, and then, you know, they brought out Kong Skull Island. And mm-hmm. then at the, at the tidbit, spoiler alert, you know, they, you know, hint at there's more monsters in the world. And mm-hmm. I was just like, I, I screamed like everybody's like, oh, my God, what's going on? This dude's <laughs> screaming in the theater. But I was just like, y'all just don't understand how, how pleased I am that, you know, that they're getting all of this together. I'm just like, I don't even, I, I, you know, I don't even care how, you know, the rest for the Marvel movies, DC movies. Like, this is where I'm going to be stuck at for the next couple of years. <laughs> this is, he had a nerdgasm right in front of everybody. <laughs> <laughs> we have quite a few monsters showing up in here. Um, oh, well, not her. She's not a monster. But <laughs> you got Mothra showing up in, in beautiful... Beautiful, you know, CGI and everything. I know it's CGI, but I'm like, it's, Mothra looks very beautiful. I'm trying to find the clip and everything. Oh, that's, that's damn, that's, that's not the right one. Wrong clip. Let it die. Let it die. But you have Mothra showing up. He's going to show up here shortly and everything. But you have Mothra in this movie, and I'm like, Mothra looks beautiful. Like, yes. flat out, like, from the wings and everything. I'm like, Wow, Arthur looks really good. And then you have Gadira and everything, King Gadira. Um and Rodan is supposed to be in this movie, right? Yeah, I think I think he uh, ex- um, from the way it looked, he exploded out of a volcano or something. Okay. And I'm like, dude, if that's the case, mm-hmm. It's going to be awesome. Like It's going to be like WWE, but like <laughs> Godzilla monsters. <laughs> like just popping up out of all game. Like, all right, who, who's ready to rumble? <laughs> yeah, so like this this image right here, I'm just like, wow, that's that's pretty. That looks really good. Like you, it looks like Mothra's just coming out of the water, and it's mm-hmm. just like, I'm a beautiful butterfly. <laughs> no, <not> a <laughs> but he's a moth. <laughs> well, that uh, that uh, butterfly from that uh, what the Ambien commercial that yeah <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Be funny. He was like a depressed butterfly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, but, but you're beautiful. He's like, yeah, but I'm a moth. I'm not a butterfly. <laughs> like I've got a life expectancy of like a week. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, um, you have like all these people. But you know who I didn't show up? Who I was actually expecting to? 
Who's that? Big man. <laughs> oh no, no, no! You can't, you can't put it all. Yeah, I know. You can't I give know, all the fans everything they want. Oh, I know, I know. I was just expecting like from the end of what you saw with um with Stall Island and everything, and they were just like, okay, well this is gonna be the one. It was like, nope. You know, King Kong <laughs> and King Kong was like, I in this movie what? <laughs> but uh, uh, my theory is, uh, I think, um, I think they're gonna have him like maybe floating on, you know. The wrath, like you know, across the ocean, and you know, it's like, all right, you know, these monsters just destroyed everything. Mm-hmm. You know, we're our military can't destroy them. You know, we don't have any guns other than Godzilla, mm-hmm. so uh, we need to get him some backup. Mm-hmm. And of course, as you've seen, Godzilla versus King Kong. Oh yeah. So of oh, course, yeah. you know, our plan's gonna backfire. <laughs> They're gonna bring him over, and it's like, all right. Godzilla stopped everybody else. Now we got to stop Godzilla. It's not gonna work. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, I, even though I've seen what this King, this Kong is capable of, I don't see him winning that fight. He's more agile, definitely, but I still don't see him winning that fight <laughs> in uh, general. They're, they're they're definitely gonna rip each other apart for sure. <laughs> yeah, it's. I I see it like you know. I hate to bring up Batman v Superman, but I kind of see it at something something like that. You know, it's, it's like a Batman v Superman thing. It's just like they're gonna fight each other initially, and then there's gonna be this bigger threat, so they have to work together to you know. To to beat them and then everything and then right. it's gonna be like the end of Jurassic World whatever they just kind of look at each other like we cool yeah we cool yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just walk off <laughs> of course Godzilla's gonna have the cool like you know going back into the ocean descending and King Kong King sit there like, and it's like well dang there ain't no big trees around like, <laughs> right. where do I go <laughs> He's like, I, I get a ride. <laughs> I get, all right fine then <laughs> uh, Skull Island <laughs> <laughs> but um now, there is one person in this movie that I didn't expect to be in this movie, and that is Millie Bobby Brown, and you all might know her as Eleven from Stranger Things. Personally, I don't have an issue with it. Um, I do like her as an actor. Mm-hmm. Uh, she did a wonderful job in Stranger Things mm-hmm. and Stranger Things 2. Mm-hmm. Uh, so it's it's good to see that you know some of the cast members from Stranger Things are going out there and doing bigger and better things. Yeah. So, uh, I mean, I guess, you know, as the movie plays out when I go see it, because I'm definitely going to go see it multiple times, mm-hmm. um, I, I think she's going to do a great job. Yeah, I, I, I think so, too. I, I think so, too. What do you, what do you think, Hakeem? Have you seen Stranger well, Things? Yeah, that's all I'm okay. to say. I have not seen Stranger Things. Oh, so. <laughs> so okay, like, okay. So you don't really have that, that, um, that attachment necessarily or whatever. Uh, see, my thing was with this is... Uh, I have no problem with her being in the movie whatsoever. My thing is, it's just like when I see her and the way they're, they've put this trailer together, the way they cut this trailer, I see Eleven. I don't see a different character. And I'm just like, you know, like she's going through this whole thing. She's silent. She's not saying anything. She has some of the similar looks. You know, you have the whole, you know, the part where, you know, like stuff is crumbling down around her and she's just, you know, she's screaming and stuff like that. And I'm just like, uh, this is 11. <laughs> it's like, now, if this is a Stranger Things crossover, <laughs> then I might be okay with that. I would give it bonus points for doing that, <laughs> you know, because it would be like Godzilla and 11 versus <laughs> all the monsters or whatever. But um, it, for, if you didn't know, like, um, it's not a spoiler or anything, but uh, 11, she has um, telekinetic powers. So, like, mm. she can move stuff with her mind, you know, like kill people and stuff with her mind and everything. She even has that, that same smile that I noticed that she had, she has at 11 and just like, yeah. <laughs> when like Godzilla comes out of the water, she's like, mm-hmm. oh, yeah. to go there. <laughs> you in trouble now, big boy. <laughs> so, so yeah, that, that's my only real gripe. I'm just like, you're, you're marketing her as 11. And the thing is, she might be playing a completely different character from, the character we've seen in Stranger Things and everything. So I don't think, like, I understand, like, okay, they're kind of using that as a marketing ploy. Just like, ooh, look, 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 there's, there's Millie Bobby Brown. She's doing her 11 thing. And I'm like, but that that works for Stranger Things. I want to see her and <laughs> do something different, you right. know? So, and, like, it's not her fault or anything. It's just the way they cut the trailer. And I'm just kind of made her look like, okay, 
I don't need to see that. That's the only thing. That's the only issue I have with the trailer. To be I, perfectly I, honest, I wonder like back with like the Godzilla cartoons way back with like you know you'd have the kid that called on Godzilla like when I, th- I, I I'm I'm hoping that that's what they're doing like they're having her having that connection with Godzilla. It's like Godzilla, <laughs> and then it's just like. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Could you imagine? No, no one would ever bully you in school ever again. <laughs> never, never. I kind of find it interesting how it uh, started out. It had the the woman. I don't know who she was. Like some type, maybe some type of environmentalist or whatever. Oh, uh, uh, Vera Farmiga, her character. Yes. Mm-hmm. And she was. She was talking about how the, the Earth was pretty much, you know, what the humans were going to be extinct. So they had they had to find these monsters because they were going to help the planet. Mm-hmm. You know, so they can survive, but. It's just, it's I'm, just, they're just gonna exponentiate their their deaths. Because <laughs> <laughs> like that's the one thing that didn't make sense. Is like we have to find these monsters. So it's just like, are you saying the ones that are bad guys, you have to find the monsters that are ho- that you're hoping are good guys, good, right. yeah. or are you just saying you're hoping to find all the monsters they kill each other off and then you could go back living peacefully. After, like, you pretty much pulled a Thanos and snapped the fingers <laughs> on everybody. I, I see. I wonder if that's, you know, I'm interested to see how that works out and everything because you had, you know, you had Ken Watanabe from the first movie and he was just like, you need to just let nature take its course or whatever. Let these, you know, it'll, be, you know, he's the equalizer. He'll come and bounce it out, whatever. <laughs> I said equalizer. I immediately <laughs> thought of Denzel Washington. <laughs> but, you know, he, he's our Denzel. You know, you let him come in and just go in and fix, fix things or whatever. And I wonder if it's the same with these monsters or whatever. It's like, hey, we have to find them so that Godzilla can take care of them. Or whatever, like, are they on the side of Godzilla? Because you see at the end when, like, you know, Godzilla's coming out of the water and everything, you see all the jets that are kind of like flying behind them and stuff. Yeah. So I was like, maybe they're like somehow working with, you know, Godzilla to try to, you know, save this planet or something like that. I don't know. I don't know. I'm I'm interested to uh, to know of like what actually what kind of lore are they trying to build. Mm-hmm.